Perfect. Perfect. I love this game. Woo. Let's just get my face in here again. Hello. Hello. And let's play Persona 4 Golden. I've got to say that I, I have played the original Persona 4, at least a couple of times to completion. Uh, but I've never finished Golden. I kind of want to do that. I played it five years ago now. Uh, so I know a lot of what's in here, what's new. But I'm not really sure what's going to happen after a certain point. I've never gotten to after... Uh, uh, after the New Year's and everything. So I, I'm inter I'm interested to see what's gonna happen. Like I I know sort of what's happening, but I, I've never finished it. So let's begin. Yeah, sure. Oh, it's sort of like the same with the uh, Persona 5. Okay. It's fine. And of course... Um... Do you hate yourself? Eh. Nah, I don't hate myself. I'm not supremely self-confident either, so I am not gonna have very hard or hard. Like, I'll, um... Uh... Go with normal. I think that's the best one. So... Yeah, I'll start with normal difficulty. Ooh, that's a nice... Nice sound. Like, it's not fun with the game. I will. I promise you, I will. I love this game. Purely work of fiction? I thought everybody was real. I love the cutscenes. Who might this be? Who might this be? Thank you. 
I'm gonna be coming here quite a lot. So I, I like to welcome. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> <laughs> sure, bizarre looking man. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. And I'm delighted to make yours. We'll have a lot of fun together in this room. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. Can I sign a contract? Do I get money for it? It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Hope so. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? So I've heard that if you stare really well into this, where you can write your name, you can see the real name of the character. I think I saw it. It says Charlie Tunoku, right? But I um, conferred with my wife about what we're going to call this guy. So we are going with... Uh, And it fits. Yeah. Yamasaki. Will it fit? Koi. Ah. Ko. I think that's how you spell it. Is that how you spell it? Okay. I had to check the spelling. <laughs> so we will be Yamasaki Koitaro. Let's uh let's go. Hmm, I see. It's too weird for you. Now, let's take a look into your future. Shall we? Please do. Do you believe in fortune telling? I... not really, but I like to. Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. Mm, okay. Oh, no. I used the U though. Is it all Is it all Oh, okay. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Does it? Hmm. Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Yeah, when my tower was in the upright position, a catastrophe was imminent. <laughs> That's not a new joke. That's a 12-year-old joke. The card indicating the future beyond that is... We put the tower into the moon. The moon in the upright position. Uh, I should I shouldn't steal jokes. This card represents a hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. I think I'm gonna hesitate a lot. I'm, I'm actually gonna hesitate a lot. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. That doesn't sound good. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. I look forward to it. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. Yeah, no kidding. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. 
That doesn't sound good. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. I appreciate your assistance. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. Mm, Margaret? This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. How's the rent? My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. Ooh. We shall attend to the details another time. Please. Until then, farewell. Farewell. Even more cutscenes, right? Yeah! Who might that be? I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even and I can do. Handle. Oh, I can handle all. Oh. Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone <laughs> Yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Yeah. Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Such a cool dude. Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Wait, yeah. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. I should have had Passengers headed some type of song. And Yasuo Ineba Station. Yeah. Please go to the other side of the platform. I think it says something that meets us outside of Yasuo Ineba Station at 4 p.m. or something. The scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Ms. should Mayumi we go Yama. soon? Yes, just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect... Margaret, Igor, am I dreaming? No, just in the countryside. Quite beautiful. Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. So you know the station, and we're here. Hey, over here. Okay, hey, hey, man's voice. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. You shouldn't be hitting on high school students. Ah. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. So you're my uncle. You can just say that. <laughs> it's been a long time. I'll say, you've really grown. I still remember when you were in diapers. I don't remember when I were in diapers, so it's nice if someone does. This here's my daughter. Precious. Come on, Nanako. Precious Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. Hello. He's cute. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Oh, city pimp pimp. Ow. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You're embarrassing her, Dojima. Well then, let's get going. Yeah, sure. My car's over there. Where? 
The back? Oh, hey. Hey. You dropped this. She doesn't look that unfriendly. The weird color. Color? Col color? Color. Yeah. I don't know. Thank you? Is that mine? No, it's yours. I saw you drop it. Ah, oh, so I'm stupid. Okay. Thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. Yeah. What's wrong? I dropped a piece of paper. Moyle gas station. In, we're gonna be running up and down this street a lot. How about Central Shopping District? Yeah. Hi, welcome to Mole. Uh, I don't think he can hear you. His car door is locked. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? I'm 30 years old, so hopefully I can. Of course, it's not a go. It's in the back to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I'm left handed, so I, I would go right. Uh, yeah, I would go the wrong way. I know. Jeez. Thank God. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. Yeah, Tokyo, maybe. Osaka, maybe. Kyoto, maybe. They don't they never say. A city, huh? Yeah, a city. Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Like some unleaded. Right away, sir. Sorry. Good time as any for a smoke. At a gas station? I don't think so, Dojima. The worst place for a smoke. Are you in high school? Yeah. Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? Eh, not really. There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. It's part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh. Oh, I should get back to work. Yeah, we're, we're paying you to fill our car. Zoom. Shouldn't have had a beer. Are you okay? I'm drunk. Did you get car sick? Yeah. You don't look too good. Been a long trip. Yeah. What's wrong? You okay? Love the voice acting in this game. It's just so good. Wait, I, I'm gonna check something. Yeah, my face is in the way of everything here. But up here. Uh, I'm just tired. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Yeah. I'm tired from the long trip. It would be best if I went to bed early today, I think. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. I don't remember this. It's cool. We just met, didn't we? Yeah. Have anywhere to go? I think I might know a guy. Okay. 
Th this this guy is just taking people in from the streets right now. Like me. You're doing housewife. Freaking Juness! I don't remember this at all. saying okay it's inconvenient and convenient at the same time it's cool I should check out the Shiroku store it's like a rundown bike shop just yet. Oh! Can I... Oh, I wanted to... Vending machine. I don't have any money. Tofu shop. A guy's just drifting up and down the mountains with tofu. Fierce looking man. Single-mindedly <laughs> pounding on something. <laughs> In the back of the store. I wonder what he's pounding. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't enter. I'll come back later when you're done pounding. Oh, what about the bookstores? It's fairly empty. I'll, I'll save. Oh, this game is great. What about you, Nanako? Yeah, maybe, maybe we should just go home. Why would I ever skip an event? I'm not speedrunning. Nice house. Bye. All right, let's have a toast. Yeah. Come by. Bottoms up. So your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? Yeah. I had to come to Japan because they're working in Norway. So. I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents—that's rough. Being a kid. No, this place doesn't seem too bad. I have a small panda in the background there. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. Someone like me? A guy? So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. Thank you. <clears throat> yes, sir! Thank you for your kindness. <laughs> Come on. There's no need to be so formal. I just said yes, sir. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. No. Oh. Well, anyway, let's eat. Yeah. That's a lot of sushi. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. So where is it? In the back of my couch. That's where all my coins are. Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. It's never the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. Yeah. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. She's not too happy about helping me out. 
I'd love to have her help. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. She's reliable for like a six-year-old. Bye, Dojima. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Oh. Let's eat. Yeah. I'm alone with Nanako. Yeah. I'd love to know what your dad does. It must be tough. Oh, she's reliable. He investigates stuff. Like crime scenes. Like Conan. My dad's a detective. Ah, yeah. Conan is a detective. Detective Conan. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, <laughs> iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Kind of harsh. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. Hmm. This is boring. Yeah, news ain't that exciting all the time. At Juness, every day is Customer yes. Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day at Juness. Are you all ready? Ready, go! Every day's great at your Juness. What about you, Nanako? Ready, go! Every day's great at your Juness. He's cute. Aren't you going to eat? I was gonna... I thought you were gonna ask me, aren't you going to sing? I'll sing. I'll eat also. And I have the Dima sushi also. A lot of sushi. Yeah. I'll also end the game. So I can just go straight to the end game. Ending the game now. Um, settings. I want to have... Um... This here. Yeah, anime subtitles on. I thought this would be, uh, we get like the menu up. Talk to you. Yeah, you should leave her alone. That enough troubles. Hey, if you liked the video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and maybe leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.